Hello, in this video, we will go through how to enable the SCP business planning and consolidation 10.1 embedded in the SCP BW 7.5 on HANA. Okay, and uh, this is the guide from the SCP service marketplace uh, we're going to follow ways to enable the SCP BPC 10.1 embedded. Right? And uh, as you can see here, uh, there's uh, certain uh, content are related to the SCP BPC standards only. So we will, we will skip those uh, uh, content, but only focus on the 10.1 embedded. For example, here, this is a post installation step, standard only. So we will not check those content, but only the embedded part, right? So in order to do that, I have extracted the uh, the guide, uh, which we will follow for the embedded only. All right. So then I just close the PDF guide, but leave the uh, Microsoft uh, Word document open, which we have all the information we need for the enablement of the BPC embedded. Right. So now let's go to the system and check the. Uh, system configuration before we start the enablement, all right? So as you can see here, we have the SCP BW705, um, SP2, which is the latest release for the SCP BW, okay? And also we have the HORN database, which is HORN 1.0 SP11 which is also the latest release. All right. So now let's jump to the, uh, the document and start the first step. Okay, the first step is install and configure the SCP Business Warehouse, which is uh, it's done here already. Actually, you can check from my previous um, video, which is talks about how to install the SCP BW 7.5. Actually, that's on the Microsoft Secret Server, but this one um, we installed on HANA because keep in mind the BPC 10.1 embedded is only available on database HANA, right? Standard is available on any database, but embedded HANA only, right? So now let's go to the second uh, step, which is post installation, okay? The first step is activate your SCP technical, uh, sorry, uh, technical business content. Okay, I think I missed one step. And now let's go back to the PDF document. See, this is a uh, install server, and I think we, there's stuff like activate your technical business content. Right. So let's click this one. All right. So yeah, we just need to run this. Um, let's copy and paste to our Word document so that we don't need this PDF. Okay, now let's go to here. Copy, go to Word document. Here. All right. Okay. So now we can, and we need may need to copy this to then we can close this uh, PDF and put it on the Word document because this is uh, for the embedded only or and any theory, right? We run this transaction and to um, so the PP single business content on this transaction you can see um, this technical content has been activated successfully already. So if you don't see this icon, you just simply click the installation. So there, then there will be a background job to activate all the SCP technical by, uh, business content, all right? So after this step is done, we just go to the next step to ensure all the ICF service activity. So there's a list of the service to be activated in the SCP BW system. Uh, it's quite straightforward to activate those service just from SICF. 
right there and click this and then you can navigate to the um, service to be activated for example um the first one is like standard only so for the second one we just go to scp public slash pc here scp public bc so all the nodes in this bc node has to be activated so you can choose activate this service because i have already activated so you don't see it right so then now go to the third step is to activate the business planning and consolidation embedded okay so in order to do that we need to run transaction sm30 not typo and we sm30 and into this table then we should say build entry bpc and it's go active okay now let's do it on sm30 and pull the table and to the maintain just find just click ok and it's here we have the bpc embedded model activate so simply simply check the checkbox so you're gonna enable the uh, uh, bbc embedded all right so quite straightforward and the last step is to make sure some namespace are editable so for example the slash one bw slash um, has to be changed to modifiable right now to do that simply run transaction ic06 and the system change option. So we go back to the system and put the 06 here. And the enter button, and we this screen and choose system change option. So you're going to see a list of the uh, namespace, which is a restricted uh, modifiability or it's modifiable. Okay. So we choose this. Uh, slash bw slash okay we choose slash bw slash and we scroll down okay this is the one right it's already modifiable all right so okay so far we have performed all the steps which are needed to enable the scp bbc 10.1 embedded right once we complete all these steps, so we can simply go to the uh, uh, the web page. I have put it here already. Actually, if you don't have it, um, you just put it is like your host name, your port slash SCP slash BC slash UI five underscore UI five SCP BPC web. Okay, so if you put this down, this address. You will see the same screen, All right? So this is your SCP BW account to log on. So you will see this uh, BPC screen. Okay, this web admin screen is quite similar to the SP standard. Okay, so and this is the environment. If you click this environment, you will see this tab is embedded. All right, it's not standard. Actually, you can enable both standard and in embed on the same system. But here in our system, we only have enabled the uh, embedded, right? So quite similar, you can see all this uh, consolidation and you have the uh, consolidation manager and the journals and you have the administration. So that here, you're gonna build your models, your dimension, and for providers, keep in mind, SCP BBC embedded is based on the uh, integrated planning. Also, actually, as, uh, actually it's like uh, integrated planning on top of HANA. Uh, we have the park is uh, planning application kit, which is accelerated uh, or enhanced for HANA only, right? So you have to map your dimensions or models to the um, your, your BW info object, which is different than standard because standard you you have to model all your models dimensions 
from the web domain only. But here in the embedded, you need to um, build your real time input queue on input objects from the PW um, workbench. So, for example, here I have this uh, cube called uh, SDC01. This is a real time cube. Click here, you're going to see it. Okay. So, it's like a real time cube means you can do the planning on top of this cube. Okay. So, if you go back to the BBC web admin, you click the model. And if you click a new, like, um, model like we call it seals let's see okay so the model tab is either planning or presentation so we choose planning we choose click and here you're gonna see this is the model the same as the standard one but here you have to map a uh, back in the BW for cube or planning DSO to this model. This is different than the standard one because standard one, once you create the model in the web admin, then you just need to create the dimension and send dimension to this model. But here is different. You have to choose the back in the BW for cube so that um, the the uh, the data will be written to the info cube. Okay, so then we click the save. And I go back, then I have the sales planning. All right, so it's quite straightforward. Okay, and that's all. Thanks for watching.